hello 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 um, today's video we are gonna learn about how to make yftv objects or we can say fragment objects so without any wasting time let's get into the video so the first step is you know delete everything and just let me open my screencast keys yeah yeah okay so what i will do i will simply wish values so just spawn okay now i will duplicate it so yeah if you are new to my channel please no don't forget to like subscribe and like the videos and yeah i have recently launched patreon so if you guys want to support me you can support me through patreon or directly through my paypal because my i wanted to say truth because my laptop can be like anytime crash and the videos can be no longer be made so i I am like collecting money for the new PC. So you, if you if you guys can help, you can just simply donate me through PayPal or you can just take my Patreon. In this, I will like I'm making like an ML of mechanic in a cafe. You will be get the early access of that. Obviously by purchasable, but yeah, you can like help the different works of this, everything. So yeah. If you support me, the guys, that would be great. If not, then like it right. also. And again duplicate it and move it up a bit. Okay. So what I will do, I will just simply rename the all the things. And this will be test underscore one. And this is underscore left. Test underscore one underscore right. Okay, and this one is mid. I will simply select all of these and go to my Solums plugin and go to and create fragment. Okay, before doing this, okay, simply just all transforms. It won't be so. Yeah, just select this. Convert it to a driver. Okay, you can convert it to driver from here too. Okay, now if you just I will give it a name to test underscore one dot mesh. Now select this and create a fragment. And just name a fragment to test one. Okay, now. If you just select these three things, select your test one. That is a fragment. Wait. So select these and create physic wounds. Yep, these are the physic wounds. So now what I will do, I just go to the edit mode, select one of these and duplicate it two times. And I will give one name to like uh root test one and second one to be <coughs> main test one okay now what i want i want rune to be merged by this so in edit mode just go to your boons go to the relations and the main add the main root to root boot root test and every else things to the main Okay, yeah. so now I have to place the bones. So, what I will do, I will just simply before doing anything. Okay, and now what I will do, I will just test for a second. And I have these models. So, what I will do, I will in edit mode, just select the lift. Okay, and what I will do, go to object mode, select every. You see, this is how you can switch the between modes. So go to your select this set origin set set origin to geometry do with everything everywhere set origin to geometry set origin to geometry now for this for the cursor to move this here press shift s and cursor uh, cursor to active okay now I will go to edit mode okay this one is middle 
So I will just select this and go to armature, armature, snap and snap to selection to cursor. Now, and you can move and just go to your data and select your box and space, press back, hover your mouse here and press backspace to move it. Okay. Now for the same left one, I will just simply selection to active, edit, edit mode, left one and temperature snap to cursor click mode okay so this is like now third one is like this this box same thing cursor to active go to edit mode this one is right temperature snap and cursor okay this will move so this done okay so this this is this thing is done but i'll now what i will do Okay, for the root and main mesh, go to your bone tools and disable the fragment physics. Okay, now select here, go to pose mode. Okay, go to pose mode. Go to your Solus plugin, fragment, uh, drawables. Select this, uh, bone tools and rotation and translation main give this a rotation only and everything else rotation translation for the each bone okay so this part is done now we have to make collision so i will select this go to the collision tab and create bounds and select it to the bound composite and create a bound okay so i will name it a test underscore one dot dot collision <clears throat> okay so the collision is right here now what i will do i simply select this collision and Click on bound composite to bound box, select your collision part and create bound. We'll see. Okay, so this will be a square. So go to the solid preview mode and just arrange this square to match the size of one box. Okay. So I guess everything perfectly fine. There. So, take it. so just copy the name of this. Uh, test one. Wait, which is left here? Yeah. Left one is this. So I will just name it test, test underscore one underscore left dot call. We copy this name. Now what I will do? I just simply click on this and the vertex and snap snapping on. So shift D to duplicate and on the y axis I will just simply move it here. Wait, I have just my where? I just select. I have to select this. And on the y axis, I have to move and just remove the 001 dot car and just ri bst right. Okay, so then again, just duplicate it on the z axis and move it to y axis, name it to the mid. Okay, so like everything is like perfectly okay. Now, what we have to do like for the collisions go to your constraint tabs this is and add a child of to everything okay the child will be of armature so this test one and this is the left so i will just select simply select the left and give it a concept to the left one oh okay my bad i have to give it to the bone so the left one left bone select same thing child of uh child of test one and bone will be this is made so we have selected mid bone okay so as you can see say so this just simply select this and backspace it to okay now go to the right same add a construct child of so you simply select the test bone now if you can see the right one so i have to select the right bone 
okay the same thing happened with this just go to and click on backspace and i guess every every constraint yeah so and if you want like change the like gravity anything you can just go to your bone tool under solums okay not this these are the main okay for the, yeah this one drop down this and you can see the physics tab and you can change the like strength and everything of the subject so i won't i am not doing that okay so i will select whole i will select these three and go to your fragment tabs set mass so okay you can get you can like calculate the collision mass but i will perform i will say like 800 should be like great so 100 mm, okay so and the solums opposite flags not this one physics okay so the mass isn't set i don't know why i will simply set mass set mass okay and set mass to each okay the mass has been selected so you just simply select this archetype data add and name it test underscore one auto generate it now if you want to call simply rename it and in the flags dynamic <coughs> override physics not override physics okay so your yeah, dynamic will be perfect for me right now uh let me check yeah so just export the ytyp export this your whole thing and if in your server just place it in code worker i won't do that you know that the basics of this place it in code worker and simply if you go to the server if you break you try to break it will be like fragments this piece will be different different okay so that's for the video and